He kōna e pūrangi tēnei nā te reo irirangi o Aotearoa. Kia ora, I'm Maria. Cautionary note, I swear a lot in this podcast. Not Jamie, because she's composed, but I do. So, if the occasional F-bomb offends, then note, this is a podcast with such language. That's not all. Okay. <laughs> no, don't. She... Don't. Don't. Yeah. Don't. You know where this don't. is going, girl. <laughs> don't. No. Because no. she's gone we in are, there to use the We bathroom. are a cooking show. <laughs> We're a cooking show. <laughs> Kia ora and welcome to The Art of Entertaining, a podcast predicated on social cues and party planning in the 70s, but apply today. I'm Maria and I hate cooking. And I'm Jamie and I'm always hungry. Join us on our journey to holding the meanest. Dinner parties are the <laughs> fast track to world peace. Baddest. I have to light something on fire. Uniquely New Zealand. Personally, I think it's like a lot of planning, a lot of work. Well, what is essentially going to turn into a piss up? An oddly 70s. Ah, jelly and, 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 and vegetables? Oh my gosh. Check that in the bin. Dinner party Aotearoa has ever seen. Hey. In this episode, we look into Jackie's top tips for helping us tackle any unwanted individuals. Mm-hmm. Gate crashes, ruffians. Ruffians? Exes? Oh. <laughs> we are preparing for the worst by bringing in the muscle to our party. Yep, bounces. We're bringing Bounce. in bounces. Rudeness is a great sin, mm. I think. In any, unless you deliberately rude to a really unpleasant person. Yes. But being rude to anyone else is not not right. We have been educated, I would have thought, not to be rude. Okay, Jamie, I'm so interested to know what these <laughs> particular tips are from Jackie. They got bounces at their dinner party. Right? That's I need saying, to hear more that's about That's saying this. something. <laughs> that's a party. Walk us through the book. All right, so we're on page 29 of the book. The first section she's broken down is ensure admissions are strictly checked. Acceptance cards is time consuming, but very efficient in seeing only those who have been invited can actually attend. Okay. Okay. So that sounds like a very particular role to me. Like someone (laughs) has to do that. Someone has to do this. And she does say, you know, you need to mail it out. So you need to mail it to each person, which we totally don't do nowadays. No. 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 It's not a thing. Are we going to mail... Invites. I don't think we have time to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know if people are checking their mails. Yeah, you're yeah. just whipping up some meringue and I'm yeah. just write, handwriting, handwriting some, some cards. Gold embossed cards. Cool. And the second one she gets into is enlist the services of a large, determined, tactful chucker outer. <laughs> so in other words, a bouncer. Yeah, a bouncer. Uh, to refuse gate crashes, admittance, and to remove all bottles carried by young men. Never have I ever been to a dinner party where there have been bouncers at the door ready to chuck you no, out. No, not at your home. Not at your home. That's 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 a club. That's extra, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I love how extra she is. What could go wrong at a house party that you would need two chucker out of that you couldn't take care of it yourself? That our guests would start? <laughs> 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 or you mean that we would start? <laughs> Um, look, I don't like. Do we have to preempt any things in advance to help our bouncers? Like, hey, you got to keep an eye out for this. I guess so. Look, I, <laughs> I think that when we reach out to some bouncers <laughs> and we go, we need your help, and they're like, great, great, cool, cool. What, what's, what's the, the event? Gig? Yeah, and you're like, it's a dinner party at our home. Um, they're going to be like, Why? oh, girl, <laughs> Why? hang up. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel like like play, like we're gonna call professional bouncers. You know, yeah. these are gonna be friends. Yeah. That you're just like, hey, can you help us? Also, how do you think our guests will feel rocking up to this and there's two bouncers on the door? I think they might be a little shocked, to be honest. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, this was not what I was ready for. I thought we were having yeah. potluck. How you know? important is this dinner? Yeah. What are we actually coming to again? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think I'm really into this idea. <laughs> do you know any bouncers or any security? Personally, I don't know any (laughs) bouncers. Have I been bounced? Yes, girl. (laughs) Have I interacted with bouncers? Mm -hmm. So I Mm -hmm. guess I do know them. (laughs) Do you know any bouncers? Have you got any, like, bouncers, bouncer friends that you can shoulder tap? Please say yes. Um, No, I don't. 
So we're making that cold call, aren't we? We are making, <laughs> <laughs> we are making that cold call. Okay. Great, great. All right, so let's look at our party and let's try and preempt what could go wrong so that we can give um, our bouncers an idea of what to keep an eye out for. Some scope for what they need to do on yeah, the night. Yeah. If you're trying to bring plus ones, plus fives, um, <laughs> that's not happening, y'all. <laughs> That's why we got to get the bouncers, because I know that happens all the time at my family event. Yeah, yeah, all the extras. Yeah, just show all up. the extras roll up. But it's, I mean, it's a family event, so that that's kind of that's kind of all good. But um, we're not doing that here. We're not doing that in this situation, are we? No, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, also um, just regular people. It's a Saturday night that yeah. we're having our dinner party. Just randoms rocking yeah. up for a private party. What's the rules on, like, how hard can bouncers go if they had to? Do they just tell them to leave or, like, do they... Or are they, like, hoisting them up from underneath <laughs> yeah, their armpits? what's the rules? <laughs> I think when people start to lay hands, right? Yeah. When they're, like, when hands are going around the place, that's when you got to get involved, right? It's a <laughs> dinner like, party. It's a, a wild dinner yeah. party. Bad food. Vomiting? Or someone being sick? Like, or, I would hope that... If they were, if they did get food poisoning, it might happen a good couple of hours after the party. <laughs> and not... um, I'm hoping no one gets food poisoning. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm being pragmatic. Yeah, okay? but if they do, <laughs> yeah, afterwards. if they do, I'm hoping that they are doing it at their own home and not, <laughs> not at the dinner table. Yeah, shutting down a party is that if it gets too wild? I think so. They have to shut down. If we a really party. start to rage. If the dinner party becomes a dinner race. I'll be stoked. I'll be so happy. I mean, I'll be impressed, but I do think someone will need to shut it down. I don't think we'll get up to that level. How would you feel if they escorted me, the other host, out and you were left to host this entire party? I'd be so nervous, but I'd also be fucking laughing. Because I would be like, what did she do? What did she do? She broke her own rules. Um, Same. You gotta scut it out <laughs> yeah. and be so. I think yeah. it's so hilarious. I'd be like, "Oh, we are. I am gonna be giving you shit for the next couple of years on this." Jackie has quite a, a quite a nice quote in here. I'd like to read. If gate crashes descend on you in the middle of your party, you must keep your cool and act quickly. You have legal right to eject intruders after two requests to leave. Holy shit, I'm, that is all I'm going to say. I have a legal right. <laughs> I'm going to go it's around, my this, legal <laughs> right. around this dinner party to say it is my legal right to I reject you from you this place. once, twice to leave. <laughs> this is your second warning. Yeah. Yeah, how would you ask someone to leave? A, a little printed paddle. A little <laughs> printed paddle. <laughs> You I'm really like, taking this to the yeah, next level. You I'm laying hands to <laughs> paddling our guests. I'll just flip this thing around and just say, you're out. My legal right says you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could be the bouncer. <laughs> we need to bring it up, man. That story with Jackie. Right? Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Let's listen to it. I loved working with people in good causes like supporting John F. Kennedy in the OK Oregon for Kennedy contest where I was a lieutenant. I ran a district. Wow. Uh, and met John F. Kennedy. Yes. Quite memorable meeting. I wouldn't have wanted to have been involved with him in any way actually, after the election. Why did you not want to be involved with the job? Because he was a hopeless womaniser. Oh, um, dear. And having women were medicine to his shattered immune system, and his wife put up with it. Did, did John F. Kennedy make a pass at you? Yeah, a big one. Do you feel comfortable telling us a little bit more about that? Well... In the end said, I mustn't detain you any longer, Mr. President, which I thought was a very nice way to get it rid of him. It is a very nice way. And he moved on to the next person. 
I think that's a very gracious way to decline the president. Thank you. <laughs> 70s were loose. They were loose. They were wild. They were crazy. And you're like, yeah, she literally had the president flirting with her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she was just like, uh, excuse me. Just graciously decline. Okay. So that helps us because now we got to think about what are we going to think about? Uh, bounces oh, for ruffians, alcohols, uh, gate crashes, swingers crashes. Yeah. Flirty presidents. Flirty presidents also on the list. No wonder these bounces in the book. So it might be good to have a think about like the lay of the land and some of the uh, some of the rules. The ground rules? The ground rules. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we should assume, right, that people are going to be drinking. Like, we're inviting them yeah. to drink with us. But also that we're not, like, getting lit. Lit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Just mean, I don't know. Get getting to a level. Not messy. Don't not get messy. messy. Yeah. Okay. So Just cute. Get we're cute drinking, drunk. but we're keeping it cute. Yeah. Okay. Second one. Um, invitation only, so not to invite extra people. Don't come with like two extra friends. <laughs> yeah. Or don't be like, don't roll up and then text your friends the location and be like, oh, just come through the back door, it's all good. You have your paddle, we will escort yeah. you out. Um, is there any other rules that we need to think about? Don't be an asshole to the guests. Don't be an asshole to the host. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be mean to the host. You can't be mean to us. Be nice. You can't criticise us. <laughs> okay, in addition to the bouncers and we know the rules and we've got security, Jackie has given additional security measures we can take Okay. if you have more than one host, which is us. Which is us. Keep curtains drawn. Doors locked. If you have reason to suspect that there are gangs around. What? <laughs> such a left turn oh, in yeah. the book. <laughs> That's what it says. First of all, what curtains are we talking about? Just look through my window and I just oh, eyeball, okay. <laughs> eyeball all the gangs outside and I just whip it shut. So when you led into that, I was really picturing something different. And I was like, oh, because we need to come through the curtains. <laughs> Where I thought You're she was like going, making an entrance. <laughs> entrance. Here I am, guest. And then when you said keep the doors locked, I was like, we're locking them into this <laughs> performance. Lights go out, curtains yes. drawn, yes. and we come in with yes. our meatloaf. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's what I thought you were gonna tell me. <laughs> And then you said gangs, and I was like, this is not part of the mission. <laughs> not in our little mini amphitheater. <laughs> so we have to lock the doors once everyone is inside, draw the curtains, just if we suspect there might be gangs. But if gangs roll up, I've given you two warnings. <laughs> it's, it's, my, it's my legal right to I have escort a legal you right. out, gang. Oh, not at this dinner party. Not tonight, okay? I have my pedal <laughs> not and you've tonight, got your two warnings. So now that we've set the ground rules, we know. <laughs> I mean, I've got to say they're pretty shaky, but I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> we know any rules, you can break them. Always. You can sneak around them. It's almost like rules are there to be broken. You know what I mean? So, Maria, i got a question. Have you ever snuck alcohol into an event or party? Yeah, man. All the time. I'm talking about gin in a pump bottle with bus warm orange juice. Ooh. Okay? So Ooh. it was not even worth it. Yeah, I've got a friend who we've chatted about many times. Used to fill up water bottles with vodka one time I just like grabbed water and made noodles and cooked it up. And Ooh. I was like, these are the tangiest noodles I've ever had. <laughs> that cousin. I want to meet her. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet her. I feel like I'd like her. <laughs> I know, so I'm not going to say names. Yeah. My family knows who would tape cans of drinks to their legs. Oh, like yo. under their pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, oi. <laughs> and you just hear that we like, you go to the bathroom and club, you just hear... <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm like, if someone came to the party and they had done that, I'd be like, just have your drinks. Just That's a lot of out. effort. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Drink your leg drink. So once everyone's inside and everyone's at the dinner table, um, Jackie's also given us tips to help keep 
the level down so we don't have to remove people too right. early. So set the energy. Set the energy so yeah. they're not peaking too early and getting messy. So here's what Jackie has to say. Have the drinks get progressively weaker as the night wears on. Provide a choice of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. So we're just watering down. So is there any drinks that set you off that I should be made aware? <laughs> uh, ooh, probably like if you start serving me whiskey. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a rave. Tequila. Tequila me. is Tequila's, yours. Yeah. Okay. On the other spectrum, is there any other drinks that make you sad? Uh, you give me gin Damn. and we're going to be talking about like life. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> life issues. Yeah. Mine is red wine. Aha. Uh-huh. Red wine. Okay. All the feels. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Better get okay. some red wine. <laughs> <laughs> now that everyone, we know what we need to keep an eye out for. Is there any experiences you've had where you want people to leave? Yes, Janie. Yes. Not too long ago. I was like, it's not when you, <laughs> not since I've been staying at your apartment. <laughs> Has it been in this week? <laughs> yeah. There's somebody right now at my house. <laughs> um, not too long ago, my friend and I, not you, Jamie, I promise. <laughs> Feel um, triggered. Another friend up in town who was visiting. So um, my fr- my good friend and I were going to a comedy show in town. So all of the groundwork that we laid yeah. out before, she broke every single one of those. <laughs> she came with two other people. Yeah. They had pre-gamed, like they were already drinking at another event. They came to the comedy show with the loudest, okay, yes. with the hecklers at the back, but they were also but they were also buying all the drinks. So me and my oh, friend were so like, you have to weigh out. Yeah, we were you like, okay, like, you can kind of stay, but it's like, worth it. It's worth it. But like, if you keep going down this track, you yeah. might have to leave. <laughs> And it just got to a point where, like, it was now starting to impact the comedian on, on the oh, stage. No. And we were like, oh, no. okay, we we got to wrap this up. And the bar staff are like, do you just want us to tell them to leave? We're like, that's perfect. <laughs> yes. So the bar staff went in, but we stayed out in the foyer, right? And we are literally watching them being <laughs> escorted. We're like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that sucks so much. But anyway, I'll call you. I'll call you. <laughs> And then went in and watched the rest of the show. I'm going to talk to the venue. I can't believe, yeah, I can't believe you they've out. done this. This is wrong, girl. <laughs> this is wrong, honestly. <laughs> Have there been any experiences, Jamie, where you've needed to leave? I can't remember where it was. I do remember one time, though, in a club, sitting on the floor probably. And then I remember looking up and then I saw this man standing over me and I was like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Yeah. Is this my true love kind of vibes? <laughs> and then the sound started coming back to my ears. Okay. And all I hear is, you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yep, yep. Yes, I do. <laughs> wasn't my true love. Wasn't uh, my, but that I was, is, what was that? It's the part where you're like, and then the sounds <laughs> came back to me. <laughs> yeah, and there's another time in constant, not me, but I was with my friend. Um, we went to a Catch a Fire concert in LA and we were living in LA. So anytime some band from home came, uh, we were like, we have to go and we take all our friends. And my friend got just way too hemmed. And so there was a point where I was like, I need to take her home, but I'm loving this concert. So (laughs) I know where this is going. (laughs) So my cousin, I'm like, well, she's good. (laughs) We're only on song number two, <laughs> and she is leaning on the stage asleep. She just has a nap on the stage. <laughs> asleep, fully asleep, Girl. and I'm like, she's safe. all good. Back to it. <laughs> when she woke up, she was just like, Fudge, that was mean. That was a mean night. And I'm like, yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> just, you have a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've just got into Christchurch. We just got here. We're coming down to see Jackie. We're going to the rest home. Just a day trip. What have I packed? I packed a little backpack, maybe, you know, some Danishes to give to Jackie, <laughs> a little card, a jersey just in case it gets cold. Um, Maria, what did you pack? Yeah, I know exactly where this is going. What did you pack? I went through airport security and I forgot that in my bag, was concealed a small knife, a 
couple of screwdrivers, a mini ice pick looking thing. And here's the real kicker, Jamie, a lighter and I don't even smoke, okay? So when you were like, let's go to Christchurch and visit Jackie, I might just pack a little bag with like, um, all of these weapons. Yeah, exactly. And then just stroll right through airport security like I didn't even know that was there. Okay. <laughs> See, Jamie, the thing is that you can get bounced and you don't even have to be drinking. And I can tell you on that because it happened to me. <laughs> have you ever been the responsible one where you're like, man, they're not going to make it home. Like, oh. and now I have to help you? When I drink, um, my personality goes up to very helpful. Uh, so even though I said before, like, I, I'll dip, yeah. it has to get to a really crazy stage before <laughs> okay. I dip. But before then, like, I want everyone to feel good, have a good time. I am very much like the mom for will look after everyone. You? I did once. Once. <laughs> one time. One time. Once. And then I was like, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> not for me. I was very young at the time, so like early 20s. And we had our Christmas function and my boss was going through a midlife crisis <laughs> and he was like, cool, Christmas party. It will be on a yacht out <laughs> on the harbour. And one of my colleagues, she gets so drunk so early in, she goes to use the bathroom and she just locks herself in there. And there's only one oh, like... no. Yeah, yeah. There's like only one bathroom that, like for the guests to use and everyone's like we've got a whole 90 minutes left <laughs> on this ride girl please get out she's kind of passed out in there we do the full cruise and we come back and it's time to get off and everyone's like amped now they want to go out into town they want to rage yeah, right they all fun. dip and I'm like the staff are now looking at me like get your friend I'm like we just work together okay <laughs> we're not <laughs> To friends is like, it's not the right term, but we just want to get friendship. We won't get into that right now. Yeah. Um, but. Not the right term, but that's okay. Um, so they have to go below deck. <laughs> they have to go below deck and get out a toolbox. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> is cancelled. <laughs> and they are vexed. Like, they are so mad at this yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> I like, would be. We just You're want to go. <laughs> and when the door came off the hinges... <laughs> What was inside <laughs> was a hot mess. <laughs> Is there anything in that toolbox to clean up, my mate? <laughs> That's not all. Okay. No, don't. She... Don't. Don't. Yeah. Don't. You know where this don't. is going, girl. <laughs> don't. No. Because no. she's gone are... in there to use the we bathroom. We are a cooking show. <laughs> We're a cooking show. Keep the music. Keep the music. That's enough. That's enough. So, I think it's safe to say when it comes to a party, we just want to have a good time. Too. No, when it comes to the tricky stuff, I'd like to outsource that to someone else, please. <laughs> yeah, so we need bouncers to help us. Um, yes. Yes. Let's book the bouncers. Let's book them in. The Art of Entertaining is produced and presented by Jamie Poipoi and Maria Tanner. The executive producers are Tim Watkin, Justin Goomery and Katie Gossett. Blair Stagpole is our producer and audio engineer. Music by T. Hema Bennett. Shout out to the absolute goat, author Jacqueline Steinkamp. Listen to us on Apple, Spotify and wherever you get your podcasts. And of course at rnz.co.nz. Listener.